In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a watermark to your 3D prints using Mesh Mixer. So you can even import your model, or I'm going to show the demonstration using this Mesh Mixer bunny. Well, the Stanford bunny, technically. I'm going to create a watermark using this sketch.io slash sketchpad. Uh, and I'm going to do that by creating a 500 by 500 square and adding some text to that. You could use this website as well or a different image processing software such as Microsoft Paint or Photoshop. The main premise we're creating here is a black square with a white or grey text or logo added onto it. I'll do a here's one I made earlier cut to but if you do need any help with this step, just drop a message in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And voila. Then once you're done, make sure to download or export the file as a PNG format. And now back to Mesh Mixer. So looking at the bunny here, you'll see it's made of triangles. If you push W, it shows the wireframe and you can see this even easier. I suspect on whatever model you're using, it will be a similar case that the model is made up of actually not that many triangles. And what that means, if you were to try and watermark using this process directly as it is, then you wouldn't have enough detail to sufficiently capture your watermark. So what we need to do is select a region of the model where we want to add our watermark and increase the level of triangulation in that section. If you go to select and then use the brush tool or lasso functionality to choose that little bit of area where you want to put the watermark then it should look something like this and go orange you can then go edit and remesh and let the magic happen i've sped through this as it is quite slow but after some time it should look something like this you'll see i've set the remesh mode to target edge length and i have set the edge length to 0.05 millimeters which is equivalent to 50 microns you could of course go more detailed than that and go to something like 10 microns but i wouldn't go beyond that because uh, it's not really going to show up in your final model well your final print anyway okay so once we're there we can start stamping out this watermark go into sculpt and change to surface then you're going to want to add in your stencil which is the 500 by 500 pixel thing we made earlier thing png you are going to want to then go to stencil and select that make sure the fall off is square and make sure your brushes is set to the draw max one that's that there the strength basically adjusts how indented or embossed or debossed the file will be as you can see here if we turn to the side 20 looks like that whereas if I adjust the strength up to 50 then it sticks out a fair bit more I'll undo those for now though because neither are quite what I'm looking for you've also then got the size slider which unsurprisingly affects how big the watermark comes out see up to 94 and we get it looking like this which is looking a bit better but still sticking out far too much for my liking you'll find with this process that there is some experimentation to get it looking exactly how you want but the benefit of this process is it wraps around the circular model or whatever shape model you've got really really nicely and to try and do something like this in a different process could take ages also once you've got the stencil set up you can reuse it on whatever model you want to do so that's pretty handy too another thing to mention if you want to deboss rather than emboss is just hold down the command key or control key on a windows and it will deboss it rather than emboss it so you get the opposite effect once you're happy you can press the w key again to turn the wireframe off and get a better idea of how it looks I think this bunny looks pretty great with 3D Tomorrow on it. You can then of course export, save it as whatever you want and take a look at it in your slicer software. 
not too shabby. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I've got quite a few tutorials on Mesh Mixer now. It is a fantastic piece of software that I use almost on a daily basis. Right, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.